Hi everyone, happy listening first Friday. My name is Pratyush Rawal. And I'm Armagan Syed. We both work at the Canada and Constructive Conversations Initiative at the Harvard Kennedy School. We graduated from HKS this past May with Masters in Public Administration and have stayed back to work on this important initiative. The goal of the CCC is to foster openness, humility, and respect, key ingredients for the robust exchange of ideas. Learning to dis disagree constructively and across differences is vital for working together effectively, and it's a core skill for public leaders and policymakers. Harvard Kennedy School is committed to strengthening the ability of students, staff, and faculty to engage in candid and constructive conversations across differences. There are five pillars of the Candid and Constructive Conversations Initiative. Major events, classroom initiatives, skill building initiatives, community culture, and special innovation. We, we work under skill building initiatives. We organize and facilitate dialogue events, which what we call clinics, that help HKS community members learn and practice skills for engaging with opposing or diverse viewpoints. This fall, we are hosting six events, three Agree to Eat events and three Dialogue Circles. Agree to Eat is a community building event over a three course meal, where participants are paired or grouped together to discuss questions through a conversation guide, a menu provided by a facilitator. It's a chance to connect with somebody from a different background and engage in a heartful comfort conversation while having food. Yeah, and Dialogue Circles are small, closed-door discussions on divisive and polarizing issues. Each circle consists of 15 participants, guided by a structured conversation flow. The aim is to explore polarizing topics while engaging constructively with differing viewpoints. And yes, food is also served. One thing that adds even more flavor and excitement to our events is that I'm Pakistani and Pratish is Indian. An Indian-Pakistani duo leading these conversations really highlights the power of cross-cultural dialogue, especially given the tumultuous history between our countries. We proposed these events to the Kennedy School last year as student leaders, and they were incredibly successful when we ran them. One key measure of success is how heard participants feel. Participants on an average feel 40% more heard in our spaces than in the Kennedy School in general. We've developed community-centric, dialogue-focused model that work well at Harvard. And we're convinced that this is just the beginning. If you're part of a higher education institution and interested in fostering dialogue across differences, we'd love to bring our work to your spaces. We're very excited to offer this work in more spaces, including educational institutions. Together, we can create spaces that cultivate respectful exchange of ideas and constructive disagreements. Here's to that. And happy listening first Friday again.